What's up guys, welcome back to Shirko, back to another video. And in today's video, we are finally doing something I've been waiting for for so, so, so long. I've been waiting for someone to list a dashboard um, that's not destroyed because uh, basically if you guys look online, all the extended leathers that are red on eBay um, either have a blown airbag or they're completely beat up. And actually they, they all have blown airbags. There's not a single one that doesn't have a blown airbag. This one, Straight Part 6, had this one in a convertible. Um, it's the exact same dashboard. The rest of the interior doesn't work, but the dashboard does, which is the main thing that I honestly need. And it came with the glove box people are selling the glove box for like 500 alone the dashboard for like 600 with a blown airbag you have to get that whole thing like all the leather like restitched so what's the point point? and the good thing about this dashboard guys is that it actually has the cutout for the heads up display so i ended up buying this from uh, straight part six as well so you have the heads up display i ended up getting some wiring for that from uh, ecs tuning so we have the wiring now we have the heads up display we have the dash as a cutout for the heads up display and then we also have the extended leather and you guys can see by the glove box right here how gorgeous this thing looks <laughs> like guys i'm just so 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 excited this is really leather like all around you guys can just feel it just feels super premium feels super nice and, and it has like this red leather there is this one little nick there not a big deal the rest of it's literally in a beautiful shape once we get it detailed and cleaned up to look gorgeous if you guys look at the current glove box this is all fake plastic like i don't know if you guys can see it it's like fake leather doesn't look good whatsoever uh, but i mean this is i mean there's nothing wrong with it it's a typical it's a typical glove box but uh this other one's gonna look so much better plus it also has like this red stripe that goes right here and then the dashboard has a red stripe that goes down here and you're gonna see the stitch all over this it's gonna look so 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 good and then on top of that i don't have heads up display um and i think that's gonna be a super nice retrofit to this car as well so yeah we're knocking out two things at the same time heads up display retrofit and extended leather retrofit this is gonna be so 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 good without further ado let me go ahead and just pop all those things out of the bags and packaging list it all over here for a nice little thumbnail and then uh get this thing installed This is it guys, look how nice this dashboard looks. This has been an absolute dream to actually get one of these dashboards. They're super hard to come by. Look at this red little stripe here. It's gonna actually line up with this stripe once it's actually installed. It's gonna look so, so, so good. And oh my God, it just feels so premium. I absolutely love it. Even the smell of it, you guys, it just smells so good. And another thing we're gonna have to actually install as well is the heads up display. We got it right over there. We got the wiring right over here. We have to do some tapping and some other stuff, but um, I think this is gonna look absolutely insane once we get it in. So I'm super motivated to do this. So without further ado, <laughs> Let's just start working on the inside, guys. This feels really cheap. <laughs> this feels really light and cheap compared to the E36 and every other car. I guess because it's all digital. Um, but yeah, that feels really light and cheap. But uh, any users, we got this out got the steering wheel out, got a lot of the things out over here. Uh, we do have the MMI system in here, so it is gonna be a little bit more difficult. There's gonna be a little bit more wires that we need to remember to pull out from each direction. So I'm actually gonna start taking some pictures about what wires I need to make sure come out of here, come out of here, come out of there, come out of over here, just so I know how many wires need to stick out of a particular spot. I think that's just gonna be the best, the best way that works for me. Um, you guys can do it any way you guys wanna do. Guys, it is looking like a mess in here. We got the cluster out, the steering wheel, the airbag, the unit itself for the navigation, the screen, all the carbon fiber trim. Um, looks like I'm gonna be parting out this car, guys, pretty soon. <laughs> I'm just kidding. Uh, but yeah, we got the extended leather dash, which I'm super happy about. Um, guys, I'm just too excited for this. Like, it just feels so, so, so nice. Look at the details, the stitching there. Like, compared to my dash currently, guys, this has this is as everything on top of it. But yeah, I'm hoping it's gonna be a super easy install. Actually, there's a label here. What is this label? Okay, it's just some numbers. I thought it was gonna say maybe 
maybe something's damaged or something. Looks good there. Um, actually, it looks like some, some wirings with the car. I might have to take that off. We'll see, we'll see. But yeah, we also got the, that piece that goes underneath the steering wheel. And then on this side, uh, we got the glove box out and uh, we got the, the P3 gauges and then the, the trim piece that goes down there. So now we actually need to remove the other um, piece that goes to the dash on the bottom over there. And then we need to figure out this uh, center console situation. I'm hoping we don't have to remove the center console. Um, so my game plan is we're gonna try to remove this trim piece and then there should be two screws. If we take those two screws out, we might be able to finesse this dash out. Uh, but otherwise, uh, we're gonna have to remove the center console. So fingers crossed guys that we don't have to. Uh, but yeah, let's go ahead and just start removing that under panel down there. Guys, the dash at this point, as you guys can see, is pretty much out. Like everything is pretty much moving. Um, the only thing that's holding it back is right here. There's two screws. And the only thing that's holding me back is this little trim piece. This trim piece is such a pain in the butt that I wanted to remove everything else and get to that in the end. So once we actually remove this little trim piece here, we should have to remove this entire part and it exposes two screws and this whole dash should come out. So thankfully, it looks like we don't have to remove the center console. Fingers crossed, we still don't. Let me go ahead and try to figure out how to remove this. So at this point, guys, we did get out the speakers. There should be only one wire sticking up here, so I just need to remember to drag the wire up there. There's just a bunch of memorization removing a dashboard because if you reinstall it, stop putting in all the screws, and then you have everything reassembled, and you're trying to put in one more thing, and then you realize, oh man, this wire is not showing. Yeah, you're gonna have to remove the entire dash again to get that wire from behind it that you pushed it all the way back. So. Getting a dash in is probably the most stressful part. Pulling it out is not that stressful, so don't rush it. Um, it's just you're moving a bunch of things, and just remember, like, hey, there's a connector up here. Okay, that's one. There's a connector for this, remember that. There's a connector for this button that currently fell down, um, so remember to guide that back in here. Um, there's these two connectors, make sure not to block those, um, and then there's a bunch of connectors, like there's two over here, uh, there's one over here, a bunch down there. That should be easy to access, honestly. It shouldn't be too bad. Um, and then obviously there's these major ones right here. Now the last thing honestly I need to remove will have to be this clock spring. Uh, there's just four, I believe like eight millimeters and this clock spring just comes out so the dashboard can easily come out. Uh, so let's go ahead and just remove those four. And then honestly the dashboard, because we got the two screws that are out down there, should honestly just come out, which I'm super hyped about. So guys, Erlan just helped me get this thing out. It's looking absolutely insane. Like I actually wanna do an F30 track car because how sick this looks. Uh, but at this point, we do have the heads up display somewhere over here, I think the other side. So this actually got from straight part six. Uh, there's really nothing to it really. Like there's three screws to install this. We need to actually get those three screws ourselves. And then that one connector back there. Uh, unfortunately, uh, that connector, I don't know if there's anything crazy to do it because there's like a custom wiring harness over here. Uh, I thought it was just like direct plug and play, like plug one into, well actually, what is this? Like, I don't even know what this is. Do we even need that? What the heck? I, I appreciate this is all we need but what is this that's my question so i'll go do a little bit of research see if we actually need this or not but uh i'll let y'all know in a minute it's straight six auto parts uh, that's actually the name by the way guys but not that it matters because i had to pay for it but i'm just saying i'm just saying the good people got some parts if you guys need it hit them up all right guys before actually installing the dash we do have to actually plug in the harness that goes to this guy to this guy so apparently this powers this and unfortunately the harness we ended up ordering from ecs turns out to be the wrong harness uh so there is another way to go about this and uh basically we want to plug in one end into here like this is a normal cable uh, this is not a display cable so pretty much this car requires a display cable to a non-display cable and it doesn't look like bmw actually sells this cable so you kind of have to order the kit that i ordered and then i'm gonna show you guys how i'm gonna go ahead and wire this i'm just showing you guys that are actually planning on doing this one day what you have to do exactly and i don't know if you guys can see all those pieces right here on the side basically these little guide rails i just trimmed them off so they're kind of just circular at this point and uh yeah it just pretty much is there's no more guide rails on this thing which is ideal now it should really literally directly plug into this one and this side as well should plug in directly into this and that just leaves us with those two connectors up here so i don't know if you guys can see it uh but basically this has like a four pin connector and a two pin connector this just plugs into the four and then we don't actually have power from this so uh basically with the other harness that it comes with i de-pinned one wire 
And one of the wires are actually gonna go in here into the second one, not the first one, the second one that's towards this clip here. And then the other wire is actually gonna go into the harness of the car. And I'll show you guys all that in a minute, but uh, as for now, I'm gonna go ahead and put this wire in here, heat shrink it to make sure that's not gonna be touching any other things in there. And then get this wire to sit in there and just install the heads up display because we do need to put the three bolts in there. Guys, this is looking pretty crazy. So I got the pretty much the CIC or whatever the heck, the unit itself in the car. I got the screen plugged in, we have the heads up display in there, the cluster and the uh, clock spring. I think that's all we pretty much need. I mean, we, we could connect the airbags. I mean, the worst comes to worst, just gonna have an airbag light. We can clear the clothes later. Uh, but the goal is, is to see if the heads up display worked because we did the wiring. That I'll show you guys the wiring if it actually worked. If it didn't work, what's the point? Uh, but yeah, I did the wiring and I think this is right. So if it is right, it should work, theoretically. So fingers crossed, guys, please God, let this work so we can reassemble the rest of the dash. Just got the car some power as well, guys. Um, I need the keys, and I'm probably gonna need the iDrive controller just in case we need to activate the heads of display if it's not already activated. All right, so moment of truth. Gonna go ahead and click the power button twice. Car is an accessory. There is no heads up display right now, but I'm assuming we need to actually get into the menu and turn that on. Um, yeah, I'm just not. I'm not seeing anything right now. Over here, now we got a couple airbag lights, God bless. Uh, but if we go over here to the menu, come on, please God, please God. Bro, I'm so nervous, dude. <laughs> okay, vehicle stat, no, 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 um. I think guys, we need to have it coded because it's supposed to come over here like something for heads up display, like turn it on and off. I'm actually gonna go ahead and install the dashboard. Hopefully it's not gonna be too hard. We're just gonna rattle the wires and make sure all the wires are poking the way where it's supposed to be. And then uh, I'm gonna go ahead and reassemble this. I'm pretty excited about this. <laughs> Small little update guys, we got all this stuff pretty much installed and I just realized that I have this boot with the stitchings there. There, This right here has stitching as well. I think this was an add-on that Nick actually added to the car before I got it, it's a little knee thing. I don't know if you guys can see it, uh, but yeah, it looks super good. We also have the stitching on the boot right here. Nick added that as well and it's just coming together so good. Hopefully I'll show you guys this tomorrow morning. Uh, but yeah, Erlan got the glove box in there. It's looking so much better. It has a little soft opening as well. And guys, it just, oh my God, like it makes all of a difference. I'll show you guys during the day. Right now you guys really can't see it, but for me, as I'm putting things in, like the leather all around here, the leather in here, um, this actually as well has a different, another extra feature. Uh, this, I don't know what this is, like a microphone or something, but I guess we have to do another retrofit because, I mean, that's kind of cool and I kind of want to retrofit that. There's a little wire right here. I figure out what that does and where that taps into, but uh, I think it's a microphone, which is kind of cool. Uh, but yeah, we do have a couple more things we still need to do. I just added on the clock spring. It is connected. I'm gonna go ahead and add on the steering wheel, the bottom piece, connect that, and then uh, P3 gauges and all this center stuff as well. And I think that's pretty much it. Like, I'm going to just reassemble all this stuff and I get back to you guys because it's been a long assembling process. I think you guys don't care anymore. At this point, it is very easy stuff. It's like literally just the, the just the climate control, the trim, the trim, the steering wheel. Nothing too hard right there. Guys, I definitely need to clean the interior, but check this out. This is the next day and look how good this dashboard looks. So finally it has the red accents right there. This is the extended leather, so it feels so much better. We have the stitching all over the dash. Again, this whole dash is wrapped in a way better and nicer feeling leather. Like it just feels so premium. Finally, I have heads up display as well. We still need to code that. Nick, my friend that actually codes, unfortunately, uh, yeah, he's he's sick and he uh, he's unable to help me with that for now. But hopefully once I get that working, I'll show you guys. But look at the dashboard, guys. This looks so good. I've always wanted this. The glove box feels super premium. And uh, yeah, the only thing is uh, there's a few scrapes. There's a little bit of a uh, stain there, which we can clean off, not a big deal. But if you guys look at the dash, finally the dash actually has some accents. The red stitching goes all the way around around 
it just looks absolutely amazing. And a car like this, this just really adds to the beauty of the interior. And I'm just super happy with this. Like, oh my God. But yeah, guys, if you guys thought that conversion was pretty sick, make sure to smash that like button. I'm really, really, really happy with that dashboard. Now I kind of want to get the extended dash, the extended leather door panels so it can match the whole interior. Those are super hard to come by. I can't really, like you literally have to find an F80 M3 with extended leather red interior um, to get those. It's just really hard to find. The dashboard actually came off of an F83 because it's the same as an M4, the convertible, the coupe, and then also the M3. So it's a little bit easier to find that dashboard, but still very expensive. So down the road, when I find somebody selling those four door panels, I'll cop those and I'll sell my current ones. I think I'll literally break even because they're pretty much selling the same prices, but literally either red ones are super hard to find. I'll keep you all posted what happens with the uh, heads of displays. I had to do my own wiring. I hope it worked out. End of the day, if it doesn't work, it doesn't work. At least we have the beautiful dash. But if it does work, we did. I did the wiring to where I think I believe, like, and I'm like 90% sure it should work. So hopefully I after getting it coated in, because we need to coat it in so the car knows there's a heads up display, then it will just turn on. It'll be absolutely amazing. I'll keep y'all posted with that. But if you guys are excited to see the 335 IS, I am working on the video right now. So make sure to smash the like button. That should give you guys a little small hint right there. Without further ado, guys, I love y'all so much. Remember to stay humble. I'll see y'all in the next one. Peace out. By the way, guys, big news coming soon.